Police say the man on your screen is responsible for a triple shooting at a gas station in Liberty City. And tonight we're getting a look at what exactly happened in this new surveillance video showing how the violence started. Let's get right over to NBC6 reporter Steve Litz with a look at that video. Steve. And hi, Jackie. Hi, Juwan. It is possible now that one of the workers who was killed in the gas station here owned it. The store is closed, you see. Still yellow tape around this and still considered a crime scene as there are a couple of police cruisers still on that property. Surveillance video from inside shows what happened in real time. It's an up-close look at a horrific crime. A man inside a gas station gets into an argument with two workers. He then heads for the door and pulls out a gun and shoots three people. We stop the video just before the trigger is pulled. It's surveillance from inside the Chevron gas station on 17th Avenue and Northwest 54th Street in Liberty City. So it looks like he shot and killed two people. Jason Dyer Mitchell is accused in the triple shooting and in bond court today. Jeez. The incident happened early Saturday morning, just after midnight. According to the police report, the two people killed, store worker Shabazz Hussein and Shamoon Shakat, suspected Dyer of shoplifting and approached him. After a brief exchange, police say Dyer fired several shots. The third person shot survived and rushed to the hospital in critical condition. The store at this gas station, a regular stop for some in this neighborhood. Everybody taking it off because they're good people. We see them every day. From the video, police were able to read lettering on the suspect's clothing, which turned out to be the name of a local gym. Detectives went there, identified Mitchell. They had information on where he lived, and so later Saturday, police went to his apartment and arrested him. We found Dyer attacked a man on South Beach back in January of 2022. In this latest case, he's charged with two counts of murder and in jail on no bond. And the apartment building where investigators found their suspect, it is right across the street, so detectives did, not, did not, detectives did not have far to go. That suspect faces an additional count of attempted murder. We did reach out to the family of the two men who were killed, and right now, as you could imagine, just too distraught to discuss this matter publicly. They told me they are making arrangements moving forward. Live in Miami, I'm Steve Litz, NBC6 News.